Hello, this is Borna from Warner.TV, and today I want to talk about DCS, Digital Combat Series. I, I've been recently bitten by the flight sim bug. You guys have probably seen my latest videos up on YouTube with Microsoft Flight Simulator. And there's a lot of crossover uh, community here. Uh, a, bun a bunch of people watching me play that content was like, hey, Borna, you need to try DCS. And I remember when I first got into Elite Dangerous and I bought a Warthog uh, Hota stick, a lot of people are like, well, now you got to play DCS, DCS. So the game's been around a while, and it's free to play on Steam, and it comes with a couple of free planes, but you have to generally buy the planes you want for a good hefty amount. I mean, they, they range from 60 to $80 per plane for a lot of these planes. So I've been getting into it, and uh, to, this is day one, day one of my series of uh, getting into DCS. I'm working with one of my community members, Dr. Slaughter. He, uh, he's, he's been... He's been begging me to play. Not begging. He's been asking me to play. And he said he'd gladly help me. So enjoy the journey of Buona in DCS. <laughs> they have standalone. So yeah, people run their own servers. And there's PvE missions that you can co-op on. There's, there's a lot this thing, this game can do. Thank you, sweetie. What did you just do? Wait a minute. Dude, that... No, you didn't just do that. Dude, Berno, I, I'm, I'm, I'm floored. I, I actually, I'm floored. I'm, on, I'm sitting in my chair, but I'm floored. Okay, I, I need to process this. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, this, this, this does require a voice. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm. I mean, Slaughter, you're right. This, this requires a voice channel and all this stuff because this is. Whew, I am a. Wow, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna click anything. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. I'm not gonna click. I'm just taking this in right now. I'm, I'm taking this in right now. I'm just taking this in. I'm, 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 I'm just flying around the circle and I'm taking this in, dude. I, I'm, I, whoo, I'm just taking it in. Oh my goodness. Is this me? That's me. Oh man, look at this thing. I need a moment. I I actually just need a moment, chat. This is my. I just installed the game today. I have not. Uh, this is what I have. What you what you? I had the free version until I got this from Burno. This is all I have, dude. I'm I'm day one. Hello, hello. There you go. I hear you now. Can you hear me? So where do, where do we start with this? Luckily, he gave you probably the easiest fighter jet you can learn. Okay. Uh, uh, I am gonna share this link with you. Uh, it's like where I kinda like to start anybody out, no matter what experience they have anywhere. Uh, there's this guy, he, he, he's named Chuck. He's known throughout the community for making guides and they're like probably the best uh, way to read up on a plane if you've never touched it before or if you've never even looked at it before but he makes really good guys for people that just have no experience at all and right uh, that's supposed to start I'll share that with you okay 477 pages oh that's all I'm disappointed <laughs> he didn't break 500 he only had a few more to go to break 500 okay Chuck okay uh, I I like it the splash screen because uh, since you have the warthog, it, if you like the first couple pages goes on a control setup uh, suggestion page, so it's got pictures of the stick and the throttle, and it points out where uh, he would he suggests that you map uh, key bindings to. I see that stick. now. Okay, what you need mapped. Oh, and he even does this. Okay, the side buttons too. I see. So all that's bound now, or is he telling me to bind that? I, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's. Oh, I think it is. I just hit those buttons, and my screens are changing now. Okay, yeah, they're, they're. I think those are working. And TMS, let's try that. I don't know if that's working or not, but the the yeah the MFDs are definitely changing. I should get in and start mapping this, huh? 
first thing? Yep, that, that's generally where you want to start is making sure all your key bindings are set up. C. Okay, so you hit Alt C to go from. Now I can look around with the mouse. And you can look at your stick and see the exact same thing now. That's 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 pretty much what I got here. That's it, chat. Minus all the scuffs. Mine is a little bit more pristine because it has not been in battle. Doesn't have the sweat of pilot. Different throttle though, but that's fine. You also oh. haven't busted a uh, pedal pack inside of there. I might have to lower my settings a little bit because <laughs> that was a little choppy. What'd you say? I have a what? You don't. You haven't busted a pedal pack in there yet. Oh. If you know what that is. I don't know what that is. Pedal pack is a special little baggie with some like crystals inside of it so that they can urinate in flight and oh. uh, get it everywhere. That that's probably handy. Yep, that wasn't that probably wasn't a good maneuver, but I did it. I'll learn not to do that stuff. Okay, uh so phase one of fifty complete. So we've done the stick and throttle, the basic mappings. And then we got this diagram, dude. This is just nuts. This is crazy. Look at this diagram. There are no bad Viper maneuvers. Well, besides crashing. I like the way you think. Because I'm going to crash. Environmental sensor Pito. Magnetic transmitter unit. So he's labeling things. Okay, where is that? Let me find the fuel button so I can see what he's looking at here. Big red button called fuel is so, up. Uh, right. These pictures are going from like far left behind you side, like by your left hip. Okay. And basically in a clockwise motion. Okay. <laughs> So these are things that I don't necessarily have to have bound, but uh, no. So like you would where, click these. Like the very first page, uh, like the far left corner. That's all like your test stuff. Right. Or like test your your you know if you got noises, like a test your noise system and all that jazz. Mm-hmm. But theoretically, right now you. That's all I need to hear. Let's go, chat. Oh, I am getting some chop here, so I might have to... Like, looking around is a little choppy with the mouse, so I might have to reduce some settings. Although, when I fly, things are smooth, but when I look around, it's, like, choppy. Okay, so I'll just go back into free flight for now. Oh, no, we're going to shoot something. Let's do... A fighter intercept. Let's see if we can die. I mean, let's see if we can shoot something. Achieve an offensive position and gain the kill as quickly as possible. Is that him? Gosh, this this screen is too big. No, 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 no. This is this is not. I got I got to adjust these curves. So at that is too much. 
I think I can, I can adapt to this. Let me see. Yeah. That's a little better. Oh, did I just do horizontal? I just did horizontal. Oops. Uh, I need to do vertical. I'm probably going to want these exact same curves for Elite, too. So I'm not even going to bother changing the game. But comfortable movements is like this, you know, looking around and then, oh no, somebody's behind me. Oh no. Oh no. No, I might increase it though. I do, I might increase, oh, I'm like, hold on. <laughs> My vertical, and okay, that needs to be increased. Chad, if you've never done track IR tweaking, it's pretty fun. <laughs> It's, uh, you, once you get it perfect, it's great. Uh, but it's going to take some practice for me to get it perfect. I'm just getting something to start with now. So if I look up, okay, that's a little better. On the right screen here. Uh, your right screen is going to be like your navigational screen. So, so the dot would be like a steer point or a waypoint. Okay. So, uh, everything that has to do with like shooting missiles essentially be on your left hand screen for the FCR okay so uh, if you're looking at your left hand screen uh, the top left side with the, two, the number with the two arrows above and below it that's gonna be the range that your radar energy is reaching out towards uh, so you right now it default it's set to 40 miles yes yeah, that's 40 and you can go farther or, uh, or anything like that but uh, on the cursor, you're going to see two numbers. That's going to be your maximum uh, angle, your like maximum altitude that your radar can see, and the minimum. So that's that little white axis that you did on the base of your throttle. That's going to change your uh, antenna elevation. I so see it. The above or below, higher or lower. Okay, gotcha. Um, so right now you looks like you got two contacts at like twenty thousand feet. Okay. So you're gonna want to find get the the maximum and minimum to where you can see at twenty thousand. Okay. So I got the what's the do you use the mouse to zoom in? Like if you need to zoom into a screen. Or is there a zoom button that uh, I'm missing? I typically have that uh, bound to something. That might be the left shift and then your TMS up and down. Okay. TMS is this? No. Okay, let me look up TMS. I forgot what it is. It might be the, the hat below your weapon release button, the red button on your stick. Okay, yeah, this is a hat. This thing right here. Okay, the one thing I didn't click. Okay, so if I hit shift in this, there you go. Oh crap, I'm getting shot at. Chat, we're gonna die! So, so you wanna go into, uh, you already got master arm on, so you wanna hit the AA button on the up front controls right in front of your face below the HUD. You'll see an A-A -A button that's gonna get you in, uh, in Air to air master mode. AA. You said underneath my HUD, there's an AA button. Yeah, where it's got all like. The okay, I see it. I see it. Eh. I hit it. You should see like a big circle on your HUD now. Yep, I do. So now you're gonna have to find. I'm dead. <laughs> I think I'm dead. There we go, chat. Record time. Okay, I see what that guy was talking about now. Uh, about binding, instead of doing shift, to bind another key on my joystick, because because I don't want to take my hands off the joystick. We don't need to see the crash, Chad. You know what's going to happen. Come on. You know what's going to happen. Jeez, spoilers. Okay, so I need to find a meta key on my, on something. Um... To take my, not take my hand off of the stick. Now I can take my hand off the throttle. I got these two stream decks sitting in front of me that can do something. 
Um, uh, one thing you could probably do is uh, you could repurpose the paddle switch as a modifier. The paddle switch. That's the the thing on the the like the pinky button. Yeah, the, like the pinky. I like that idea. Yeah, yeah. So we test. That's not bad. It's kind of intuitive. I like that. The uh, S16 that's following you is a friendly. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was trying to kill me. Oh gosh. Okay. So they're gonna be on my left side, you say? But well, they were on my left side. So go ahead and hit the air to air master mode again. I'm trying to do this by watching on the stream. So it's yeah, there's a slight delay. I understand. I understand. So uh, on the right hand screen, you should be able to see that uh, the two uh, contacts on your to the right, about 60 degrees right. There's this thing called the sun. That's making my life. <laughs> okay, so they're on, they're on your radar now. Okay, I see him. I see him now. So you can you can set that cursor over uh, over one of them and then hit TMS up on on it and it'll lock it. TMS. Oh, this cursor is gonna take some time to get used to. TMS up is crap. I don't remember. The thing you you push to zoom in. Just don't do it with the modifier. Oh. This guy. Okay, I got some bars. TMS up, so do I shoot or what happened? Uh, go back into air to air master mode. Shoot, yeah. I'm gonna use the weapon release button, big red button. Oh. He already got it, he's so. I thought I hit it, but nothing's happening. Oh, uh, you gotta hold it down. I gotta what? No. You gotta hold it down for about a second. Oh! Box one! Box seven! Box three. Box three! There we go, chat! My first hit! He's damaged! Okay. Is there somebody? A very rough way to uh, lock somebody up and then shoot at them. Uh, okay. This guy's out of my radar range. Yeah, he's right there next to you. That would explain it. Okay, I still. In this instance, you would go into the dogfight mode. Oh, so that's not the AA mode. Okay. It, it's an override mode, so it would override whatever whatever your master mode you're in. Okay, and that's like. I think it's this button. I don't know. This is an advanced thing, so you don't really worry about it. Uh, uh, this little cursor thing is weird. Uh, bruh. Bruh. So he's probably uh, lower than what your uh, antenna elevation is at. So you gotta, gotta play with it. Okay. So he's probably lower than 10,000 feet right now. He look, that guy looks like he's flying in the mountain uh, valley. 10,000? Okay. I got it set to that. So if you look underneath the actual uh, red triangle, that's basically a data link uh, signal. That means the AWACS is picking him up and sending the signal to you. So underneath that triangle, it'll actually tell you what his altitude is. So when okay. you lock him up, you 
could lock him up and then hold down, uh, point your nose at him and hold down the uh, missile release button and shoot him. Damaged! Thank goodness the AI is bad. Weird. What's up, Blue Fox? Okay. So let's look at this guy here. That guy dead. Yeah, he's very dead. First kill, yay! Yeah, hey, hey! We're professional now, no more excuses. <laughs> I think just, I think from here on out, I can just practice this and get used to that basic stuff. And then go from there. But man, thank you. Um, and that's barely scratching the surface. Yeah, this is this is like less than 0.1. And, uh, and thank you again. No uh, and you can reference that uh, PDF. Anytime. Right. And Burno. If you have any questions, just hit me up. Burno, thank you, man. If you... I don't know what to say. Like, to give me that plane was overwhelming, dude. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. And I know you've been you've been hanging around here a few days for, for flight sim. Whew. But yes, I'm gonna study this. I knew when Slaughter showed up, he was gonna be happy to see me playing this. Oh yeah. And uh you, Swadell, a couple other people were like, yep, wanna play DCS? I'm like, I don't have a plane. They're like, it comes with two planes. I'm like, really? I didn't know it came with planes. I thought I had to buy one first. So I was like, all right, and I installed it. Oh my goodness, this thing is now, super is detailed. Like, I'm just going to give you the Viper so you're obligated <laughs> to play now. Yeah, it's like, there you go. You got to play now. You have no choice. Thanks, Burno, man. Oh, man. That was a good first, uh, a good first flight, though.